We're here today on St. Peter's Avenue. Uh, this is a very quiet road off the main road, as you can see here, and as bollards at the end there, so there's no access through all the way. You also have a garage of the property, as you can see in front of us, and this drive that I'm walking through now, as we're heading towards the front door and the entrance hall. Porched area. And we enter the entrance hall here. On our right is the garage door for the inside. We also have a wardrobe for outdoor wear here, an area for shoes. However, we're going to make our way through the through to the living main living area here. Really large bright space, as you can see wooden flooring throughout, and this overlooks your driveway here, as you can see. Through, going back on ourselves through the living room, we enter the sort of dining area, which also has a hatch through into the kitchen. As you can see, and this has sliding doors that look into the garden there. Through here you also have some sliding doors where you can enter into a sort of playroom, games room, a snug area, or even an office that again overlooks the garden. Back through the sliding doors into the dining room into the entrance hall. We have the downstairs toilet ahead of us with some understairs storage next to it, consisting of a toilet and a basin here as well. A little window. And then we have our main kitchen area. There is the hatch that leads onto the dining room there. So you can pass food through, this overlooks the garden. If you would like more information on the appliances included with the property, please visit our website. In our kitchen, we also have a small separation of which leads into a utility area. As you can see, it's got a little separation there. And it also leads on into our back garden, which has a gate leading in through the front driveway, so you don't have to walk all the way through the house you don't want to and into the back garden here, which is not only patioed, but also has a very large and spacious green area as well. So it's great for holding barbecues, spending time out in the summer. However, we're gonna make our way back through the property and go through the upstairs bedrooms and bathrooms, making our way back through the utility room and the kitchen and up the stairs. From stairs onwards, the property is carpeted. Going up to the first floor here, we are greeted with the door on our left, which is one of the smaller bedrooms here. However, still spacious enough to fit a very considerable size double bed. This overlooks your driveway. This is again carpeted. We have an airing cupboard as well on our left, as well as the door for the boiler. However, on our right, we have the next bedroom. Again, a very good size, fit a very nice size double bed in here. Enough space for wardrobes. And this overlooks your garden, as you can see out there. We have the family bathroom, just off to our right. This is a four-piece bathroom with a, consisting of a bath, a basin, a toilet, and a shower. This is all tiled, and again, overlooks the garden. This is the view inwards. 
straight ahead of us is our third bedroom. This bedroom has wardrobes lining the back, the back wall. This overlooks your garden and as you can see you have a whole wall of wardrobes there, lots of considerable storage space. Back on the, uh, the landing, we are at the master bedroom. This is again a similar size room to the other one we've just seen. However, this is also an ensuite we'll see in a moment. This is carpeted. It overlooks your drive. And we have the wall of wardrobes here as well. Lots of storage space. And the windows keep the room looking bright. Again, we have a similar looking toilet here. We have a his and her sink, two basins there. We have a shower, tiled flooring, and a toilet as well. Some storage space. Walking up to the second floor, we have a storage area on our left. A little nook area um, which leads through um, into the loft before we are greeted with the loft room. This is the upstairs bathroom consisting of a shower, which is a good size, a toilet and a basin. And then we are then greeted with the loft room on our left. This is full of storage space and as you can see lots of skylights and storage cupboards up here too. Very light and bright room. If you'd like more details on this property please visit our website.